All right, guys, welcome to another new video. This is going to be exciting because Game Turbo has received a huge update and we have Game Turbo 4.0 on this one and 5.0 on this one. Now, it's not exactly 5.0. That's what we are calling it. Maybe Xiaomi will have a different name for that, but it's going to be a how to install what is new and what is the side by side comparison between 4.0 and 5.0. So stay tuned till the end of the video to get all the information and know how to install. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you want to stand a chance to win one of our premium smartphone cases, click on the link mentioned in the description and participate in the giveaway. Now, without further ado, Hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright, so the trick is the same, it will work on all Xiaomi devices at running MIUI 12.5 and later, right, Xiaomi, Poco, Redmi, whatever, it will work because you have to install a system service plugin and the new security APK and you should be good to go. So first, let's compare, you know, while we go at it side by side, let's actually compare what exactly is going on over here. So this right here to the right is not the stock ROM. This is a MIUI Covenant. So this will still have the latest security APK and this is completely stock, the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So 6.2.1, 6.2.5. Now from the looks of it, this looks to be latest, right? So let's go to the main screen and let's say launch a game here. And let's launch a game here. Okay, I cannot log into Apex at the same time. Let's launch BGMI on this one. Okay, now let's look at the game turbo on this one. Okay. All right, we're gonna reduce the audio on this one. And let's look at the game turbo on this one. Now look at the complete UI on the new game turbo and look at the UI on the old game turbo. There are not many new features that have been added, but definitely they have tried to do a lot of optimization. So what we'll do is for now, we will take out the Poco X3 Pro from this video because I just wanted to show you side by side what's different and what's new. And now we will focus on the new game turbo. All right. So first you have an option over here, clear memory. Okay. It says clearing over here freed up 397 MB. One by one, we'll go through all the features. Then we have free up storage, performing a deep clean. There is a shortcut for that now. And it doesn't really give me a, okay. Free up 4.5 GB to boost performance. Okay. Now over here, boost performance, there is a direct shortcut. So earlier you used to get over here an option, like you want to play the game in balance mode or in performance mode and things like that. That is not there, but this is a universal button which allows you to clear memory automatically, free up storage space and monitor performance. Now see what happens when we click on it. Okay, it says 110. Okay, okay, it is, you know, the graph is going up and down. It's still doing that. Right, so now this is running in the performance mode. Now, this is a gimmick right here because what it is saying is, okay, you know, let's, uh, let's actually enter Apex over here, whatever, whatever date and stuff. So let's put whatever date, it's fine. Let's actually log into the game because without being in the lobby, it will not exactly tell us what exactly was the FPS before the boost and what exactly is the FPS after the boost and stuff like that. So we're going to do a side by side comparison once again, like in the actual game, we're going to do the comparison of before and after because I strongly feel this might be a gimmick. This just might be a gimmick. Let's see if it actually is a gimmick or not. And the game is loading now. So if you look at the game turbo now, you will see that the boost option has gone. And uh, yeah, now let's see here. Okay. Okay, one very interesting thing here is, okay, click on it. After 92.20. So this is definitely a gimmick. I'm not saying it doesn't really make a difference, but this before it was 20 FPS and now we are giving you 95 FPS thing is definitely a sort of a joke here. Uh, one thing that I don't see over here is uh, 
there used to be this system monitor in game turbo which used to give you the information Let, let's bring in the poco x3 pro once again to quickly show you what exactly i'm referring to um okay we have bgmi in the poco x3 pro right now look at this cpu 33 percent gpu 8 percent fps 60 and over here you had the performance and uh, balance mode option so that is let's let's put this in performance mode yeah so that is somewhere gone i cannot see that over here the cpu info and all that stuff that is a little weird but then you have screenshots screen recording dnd settings voice changer right let's allow this let's go to voice changer once again okay let's see if it works hello 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 checking voice changer checking voice changer right so the voice changer is working and i'm hoping it will work in the game as well there is a timer that is available you do have dnd &D, you do have screen recording which starts immediately and apart from that you have an option of a screenshot now i'll tell you this there are a lot of options which will vary from device to device for example if you are on the mi 11x unfortunately this is on dub fest right now otherwise i would have showed it to you on mi 11x as well on mi 11x you will get those gpu settings and all the other features and on an entry-level device or a mid-range device like the Redmi Note 10 Pro, you might not get all the GPU settings. But all in all, you know, over here, there are things. And if you go to settings over here, let's see. Um, let's go to the main screen. Let's go to the main screen once again. Let's go to security. And let's go to game Turbo. Okay. This is a new animation of game Turbo, And... As you can see, this is the new look that we are talking about. Now, battery is 96%, CPU is utilized, GPU is utilized. All these options are present. Now, let's go to the settings over here. Any new options? Not really. Almost all the options are similar, even if you go to game-specific settings. Touch controls can be customized, touch resistant area. So, all these options were present in the new game turbo, old game turbo as well. That is game turbo 4.0. But if you actually go to the new game turbo, the look is now segregated. It is now divided into different sections. And I don't understand one thing. You go ahead and do a boost over here and you close this and it is boosting, 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 boosting. And then after a certain amount of time, it stops boosting. And then it tells you that it is giving you better performance. So I really don't understand what exactly Xiaomi is trying to do over here. A lot of information that was available in the previous game turbo is now gone missing. But yes, I do like the new look, the new UI of this game turbo. It is, uh, you know, go ahead and optimizing things. And after a certain time, it stops. You have clear memory, free up storage and all those options. And you have this sidebar, which is a feature of MIUI 13. So all in all, this is what the new game turbo 5.0 looks like. And uh, let's quickly go ahead and see the install steps over here. All right, now we have the Note 10 Pro with the old game turbo. Let me quickly go ahead and show you that. So for that, we will go to security once again. And uh, let's actually load up the game turbo over here. Let, let's load up Apex once again. Okay. Right. As you can see, this UI is old, but over here, as I said, you get GPU, CPU, FPS and the performance mode toggle and stuff. So you do get all these options. Now we are going to see how to update this. So let's go ahead and close all the applications first. You just have to download the two files linked in the description. As long as your device is running MIR 12.5 or later. Okay. And there would be two files. So if you go to download, first you need to update the system service plugin. Go to settings, allow your file manager to ch make changes. Uh, this full screen warning is something you need to look at as well. And uh, probably go ahead and hit OK. Definitely go ahead and hit OK. Otherwise, you will not be able to update. So hit OK and click on update. Let it scan. OK, let's go back and update the security APK as well. OK, once we are done, go to Apex or any game once again. There you go. You do have the new game turbo running on your Xiaomi, Redmi or Poco device. 
Now, let me also show you in case you're having any problems or you don't really like the new game turbo, how you can actually go ahead and uninstall it and have the stock one which is supplied with your ROM. You just need to go to settings and then you need to go to apps. Over here, you go to manage apps, select this option and select show all apps. Okay, now look for security first. Okay, click on uninstall updates. That's done. Go to manage apps once again and over here search for system service plugin this one and do uninstall updates on this one as well now you will notice that the moment you go to any game or any option which requires game turbo you will have game turbo but it will not be the new one now you might have to go ahead and add your game of your choice to the game turbo so let's quickly go ahead and launch game turbo the old one over here Okay, Apex is now added. So let's go ahead and click on open. And as you can see, we have the old game turbo. So all in all, pretty splendid update by Xiaomi for the new game turbo. I really think this is a something new that they have started and they will keep on adding features. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about the new game turbo? And until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.